what is up everybody? James from Mastiff Metalworks here. Uh, I've got something uh, really exciting to show you all. Uh, we call this the Wanderer. Now, this body shape was designed by Timothy over at Discordance Electric, and uh, he basically combined all of the best traits of like the Explorer, uh, the, the RD, and the Iceman into one shape. And it, God, I, I love this body style. Um, there's just something about it. You know, I've always liked the Explorer, I've always liked the RD, and putting them together like this with the, uh, I mean, it's still angular, but, but rounded in all the right places, um, just looks killer. So this particular one is solid maple, and it has a recessed anodized aluminum top, and it's semi-hollow. Um, <clears throat> this, this body, as a big chunk of solid maple originally weighed 10.2 pounds and uh, after all of the chambering and routing we got it down to four pounds on the nose it's uh, in this trim right here it weighs seven pounds three ounces I want to say something like that and you know I'm not gonna say that this is the best work that we'll ever do because I, I don't think that it is but it is definitely our best work to date um, I just, I really like this guitar. It's balanced well, uh, the feel is good, you know, it sits in the lap, right? Um, I like everything about it. The neck, uh, that's also maple, so maple fretboard, uh, maple, maple neck. It's got a uh, matching anodized aluminum headstock plate. And I can't sing hip shots praises enough on these tuners. These tuners are, are absolutely great and they're beautiful too, this nickel satin really kind of uh, complements the uh, the brushed anodized aluminum and as if being lockers wasn't enough um, they are tapered so they start long and they get shorter the further you go out and what that allows you to do is get away without running uh, a string tree or having to angle the headstock you still get a nice break angle across the nut down here at this end we've basically got our version of uh, a telecaster three saddle bridge except the bulk of it is hidden underneath the aluminum top. Uh, compensated brass saddles. Um, these lightning cuts, uh, they're, they're not only an aesthetic thing, uh, but they also do serve a function. Um, and they've got a nice aluminum mesh behind there so that your <clears throat> toddlers can't stick picks in there. You'd, you'd have to take the whole thing apart to get them out. Uh, but they also kind of act as the sound holes. Uh, this thing is really loud for an electric guitar. Uh, volume's all the way off. Really loud, uh, more than loud enough to, to practice with unplugged. Yeah, the Alumatone pickups. Now, I, I'm not the kind of guy who believes hype without, uh, without seeing or hearing it firsthand. And I gotta tell you guys, I, I did research on these. I was, I was skeptical. Uh, all the good things you hear about the Lace Alumatone pickups are absolutely true. And it's, it's almost like they were made specifically for this application. So being a semi hollow body, um, if you've ever played one before, you're, you're more than well aware of the feedback and the overtones that you tend to get, uh, especially when, when the guitar is still hot <clears throat> but you're not playing. Um, it can be a real mess. You don't get any of that with this um, because of the Lace Alumatones. It, it knocks out all of the negative stuff that you don't want to hear and then uh, just, just amplifies all of the, the good sounds that you want out of the semi-hollow. Um, Probably as of as of this build, uh, probably in my top three favorite humbuckers right now, um, and they they might continue to climb the list. I'm interested to see what they'll do in a in a solid body, um, but I, I assume they're going to sound great. Uh, no qualms or questions there. So anyway, here it is. This is the uh, this is the Wanderer. Um, super proud of this. If if this weird kind of thing is the sort of thing that you're into or you're you're intrigued by this um there's going to be more stuff like this on the way so so we'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe um then you'll you know get notifications the next time we post something um not very active on youtube very active over on instagram so um 
If you want to see things like as they're being built <clears throat> and then as they're finished, um, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. There will be links to those in the description below. And there will also be a uh, link to my reverb store. Both this guitar and uh, the Voyager are interpretation of the Rhodes V. These are both for sale uh, as of right now at reverb.com. Um, anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I hope that uh, I hope that this guitar does it for you. I, I hope you can all at least appreciate um, the R and D and the and the craftsmanship that went into this. Um, at any rate, guys, thanks again, and uh, I hope you enjoy whatever's left of your day. Oh.